new lab at Epcot, where the future is being tasted today. Be sure to refer to your festival passports. <laughs> That's right, Pinky. For a complete list of the Brew Wing Lab's latest experiments. Watch out, because they're going fast. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Chef Philip here at the International Epcot Food and Wine Festival, and I got a bunch of new items here ready for you to, uh, to showcase. So here we have two of our new items from our brand new uh, Global Marketplace, Flavors of America. We're starting off with a Chapino seafood stew. This is representing uh, the Pacific West Coast. Some smoky tomato, fennel broth, scallops, shrimp, mussels, clams, and fish there to all try. From our Chicago region, we have our Italian hot beef sandwich. So shaved beef dipped in the au jus, topped with spicy jardinera, and then some au on the side to dip your sandwich into. Super tasty, super delicious. Um, from the flavors from fire, we have our new skirt steak taco. So the skirt steak will be grilling out there uh, right in front of you, fresh. Um, our cast will be out yes. there on the grills working. We'll put that on a corn tortilla with some mashed avocado, queso fresco, pickled onions, and then corn sauce on there. Here we have, you should have, uh, see, a very classic dish we have. It's our Canadian filet. It's back, along with the cheddar cheese soup, of course. Uh, but we've enhanced it this year. We've added some boars and black truffle mashed potatoes and boars and black truffle butter onto the steak. So a little bit of different flavors, but just enhancing this dish immensely for our guests. Uh, here we have two dessert options that we did have last year, but gave them a different reimagination. Up top here we have our plant-based guava cake. That's over at Shimmering Sips. And then down below, we have our pistachio cake with candied walnuts. That is going to be over at Tangerine Cafe. And here to showcase Brewing's Lab at the Odyssey, we have two of our new wing options. One you'll see, we have our impossible plant-based chicken tenders. They'll be tossed in our traditional buffalo sauce, plant-based blue cheese, and plant-based ranch. And then my favorite, because I love spice. We have our unnecessarily spicy, yet extremely tasty Scotch bonnet curry pepper wings. If you're a heat lover, this is where you're gonna wanna go. It's got quite a bit of bite. Um, and we have Will here to showcase some of our wonderful drinks that we have for. I'm Will, I'm one of the guest experience managers at Epcot Festivals. So let's talk about the pickle milkshake. I think this is probably the one that people have the most questions about. This is one of our food experiments that we've uh, dreamed up here at the Brewing Lab. Um, it's going to be a delightful combination of unexpected flavors. So when you first pick it up, you're going to be greeted by that aroma of the dill atop it. And the first sip of it is going to be creamy, satisfying, refreshing, and then that hint of pickle. On the top of it, you might see our pickle spices, but um, you might notice they taste a little bit more like chocolate spices. <laughs> our next beverage right over here is the Frozen Fusion. This one's all about refreshing. This is a combination of pomegranate, raspberry, Twining's tea, and orange ice cream molecules. So uh, just like our cup here, the Dr. Bunsen Honeydew design, where do you think you're going to find the vessel void of contents sooner than you think? And we want to also showcase over at Flavors of America, one of our uh, new marketplace concepts this year. We have a beer flight that's going to pair nicely with each of the menu items there. So um, we hope to see you at Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, which runs through uh, November.